We have new information about the gruesome murder in San Carlos, where a mother of two young children was beheaded by an estranged boyfriend. Tonight, neighbors and the victim's family are mourning and painting a picture of domestic violence. NBC Bay Area's Robert Honda joins us now in San Carlos. And Robert, I understand you spoke with the victim's father. Well, that's right, Raj. Uh, it took a lot for the victim's father to come out here to see where his daughter died. He called the scene horrific and surreal. I feel like this is a horror movie that I need to wake up from. Today, Martin Castro Jr., father of the victim, showed up at the crime scene where a memorial to his daughter now stands. He then demanded somebody come out and wash away the blood that marked the place where his daughter was killed. None of us have eaten, none of us have slept, none of us have drank anything, none of us, nothing. We can't do, I can't even feel anything right now, except hurt. I'm empty. Martin also gave us these photos of his daughter, 27-year-old Karina Castro, who neighbors say had a volatile relationship with a man now accused of beheading her yesterday, Jose Mondiato Solano. Investigators believe it began with the couple fighting inside her apartment yesterday morning around 10.30. That fight then spilled outside, and that's where they say Solano used what sources are describing as a samurai sword to kill her, all in front of three women passing by, while neighbors were quick to respond to the commotion. I saw the three ladies uh, crying and they're kind of like nervous and scared, and they're calling for help. So I, and I saw the guy jump inside his car and took off. Another neighbor who says police were often at the home because of the couple's fights recalled hearing Carino Castro talk about being scared of Solano. Also the night before she was pacing back and forth in front of the house like just the night before and I kind of heard she was talking real loud on her phone and she said feels like I got a target on my back. Just a short time ago Castro watched as the fire department washed down the scene of the killing. Now he wants justice. If he's willing to decapitate my daughter in broad daylight with her children right there, he needs to die. Well, to do that, Martin Castro Jr. says he will advocate for the death penalty as Solano heads to court. He also says the family will now focus on getting the two children back from Child Protective Services and to deal with their grief. Live in San Carlos, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, thank you, Robert. Which